Welcome to first and only SaaS News Digest featured on LinkedIn, where I cover news, events, and updates that are happening in the SaaS community worldwide. We begin our digest today with a look at NASDAQ's Tech Trends 2021 report. And those are the four trends that NASDAQ experts believe will have a, a biggest impact on our industry in the year ahead. And the first, Systems of Chips, or SOCS, are going to have an incredibly profound impact on our businesses. And recent innovations in this space have many people excited. So this is the rise of an innovation with SOCS that is allowing for amazing new products and systems. With advances in SCOS, we will build more effective trading systems and deliver better performance, reduce complexity, and lower end product pricing. Trend number two is Edge Cloud. Edge Cloud is reducing reliance on centralized processing. It brings greater scale and performance to consumers, as well as enabling hybrid cloud strategies. Edge Cloud has many particular uses from financial services to IT and even drone applications. The third on NASDAQ list is the data sharing. There is a growing and powerful combination of the cloud, federated learnings and encryption advances taking place. And these combinations of technology could overcome regulatory barriers to sharing information. With advances in data sharing and federated learning, organizations can share insights without sharing actual data. And homorphic encryptions is an emerging tech that allows organizations to share data, but to retain complete control over who can access this. They can control who can analyze it, and all access can be audited. And finally, NASDAQ fourth top trend for 2021 is SaaS in the cloud. SaaS adoption is in the cloud is still rapidly increasing, and businesses in many sectors, from finance to marketplaces, are discovering SaaS solutions that are fast and cost-effective. SaaS makes it easy to onboard clients as well as to upgrade products and offer new ones. And SaaS in the cloud contributes to everyone's resilience and security. Great trends from NASDAQ to watch develop in 2021. And our next digest today covers news in the world of quantum computers. Industry leader IBM recently shared a vision of how to develop the software needed to take quantum computing to the next level. Quantum hardware has long been a race between IBM and Google and who can make the best processor. And IBM predicts at 1,121 qubit devices are early as early as 2023. But that's just not the hardware. The hardware is only half of the equation. And when it comes to software, IBM strategy involves using an open source approach. And they want to pull as many developers into the process as possible. And the first step will be their release of the update to QSKID, the software ready in use for quantum programs. And this update will allow developers to balance the workloads between quantum and classic computing. And this new combination of software and external components should lead to a speed of 100 times faster to some quantum programs. An increase like this means that calculations that currently take months will only take hours to complete. Circuits, updates, and control system will all progress until the release of that superprocessor scheduled for 2023. And by that point, IBM seems to think that the quantum software environment will have achieved a new level of access. Developers might not have to program at the device level any longer, and this allows for a much larger pool of people to join the development process without needed, needing to understand the underlying physics. By 2025, IBM predicts an era of frictionless quantum computing, and by the 2030, they want to see users running billions of quantum circuits a day without giving it a second thought. And if IBM can hold a true to this timeline, quantum computing becomes, could become a commercial reality within the decade. 
And now finally today we are going to cover some strategies for deep tech founders who are fundraising. Make no mistake, fundraising is a challenge for everyone. But deep tech founders face the challenge of getting investors excited about a very complex technology, very long sales cycles and risk profiles. And in order to help investors understand and become interesting, there are a few strategies experts recommend. At the first point is to work on your storytelling. You need to focus on your the biggest, most bullish hopes for a seven to 10 year vision. Paint a clear picture of what society will look like if you meet all of your company milestones. Early stage investors want to hear about new dreams, ideas, and exciting futures. And they do not want to pour over endless spreadsheets or financial models. Once you made your big vision clear, make sure that you underscore the impact of your product. Answer questions like, what can people do as a result of your technology? Some experts recommend putting your presentation into to the grandma test. And this means that your presentation should be understandable and excited even for your grandmother. Next, make sure that you have an individual story to share about the benefits of your technology. Use a name, photo, and background backstory to personalize the experience that you envision. People connect with other people not with the endless slides and statistics. And once you got the storytelling under the control, make sure to talk up your team. Boast about your go-to-market talent. Even the best tech in the world needs the right partnership with sales and marketing people. And finally, make sure you answer the question of why now? For investors, being right but too early or too late is the same as being wrong. There's just a few tips for deep tech founders in the fundraising phase. I hope you enjoyed SaaS News Digest. The SaaS News Digest belongs to all of us and provides the value to the members of our community because of you. So please click on like or insightful button, share the SaaS Digest on your LinkedIn page. Let's work together in developing this community and setting new SaaS global standards. My name is Artem Gassan. I'm the general partner at SaaS Growth Ventures. And my superpower is I solve growth and revenue problems for tech companies. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.